it's about third and six. I'm trying to convert. It's early in the game, first quarter, about three minutes to go in the ball game. And um, we're going to throw the ball um, to Humphreys on the dig route. And as you know, that's Carson Beck's. That's his favorite route to throw. So what they're going to do, because they're running zone here, and basically you're running, they're thinking all stops. That's the reason why you see all six defenders sitting here right on the first down line, is that what you want to do is pull defenders into a spot so they'll centralize, and then you run the dig behind it. Now, I believe here in the slot we're going to get the vert. We're going to get an outside hitch over here, and then we're going to get the dig that Carson throws to. But what I want you to watch right here is we show this look that's up front is this is something that's got to change because you'll notice as the ball is snapped and you get the bail, the mite looks like he's bailing, but he ends up running an X stunt. Monroe Freeling has got to, when he sees that cross his face, he's got to be able to pass that off and be able to see this X stunt coming back here on this, and he doesn't see it. Now, Cash Jones, very smart cookie. Big kid, okay? He has every right to do what he's doing right there, which is to cut him. But, you know, I'm glad that Carson has his mind made up here because this is a bust by Monroe Freeling not coming off of that, passing him up. He's got to know when he lets him up, his eyes should be back on the X coming this way. And that's something I've been big on Monroe Freeling and trust screwing it up. But trust at guard right here and Monroe Freeling at tackle, you don't want to see this bust right here because if he has to come off of this route, then he's screwed. He's going to get hit. Cash holds up his guy long enough. And, of course, the first receiver is open because you can see that everybody's being held by this quick. And one of the best balls that Carson throws is the inside dig. And London Humphreys makes a catch here, getting him involved in the passing game early. Now, honestly, this is what I would like to see. If we're going to throw this route right here, I don't mind doing this, but I don't want to do it from a stationary position where we're in doubles, excuse me, doubles up top or ace, whatever type of two receiver set combo to the wide side of the field. I would much rather put him in fast motion to get him outside to the hash first and turn and throw like a tall sweep where he gets it up inside because we know that we ran it earlier in the game and we we just end up running too much lateral and it's too easy because the running back's having to slow down to catch the football for the transition and I don't like that but this is certainly something I don't mind doing is you just sit in early fast motion you turn and throw that you're blocking you're blocking it's just tall sweep get outside I have no problem we didn't actually run that at all but that's something we could run something we have done in the past now what we do here is to try to hold people in the box you're going to see Michael Morris pull like he's pulling for power or either they're doing some type of G concept off of this to boot like what most people would call boot action. You have block down, block down, block down, and then the G pulls to boot out because what you would typically have out of this in old school days, we'd have some type of run action this way, and the quarterback would boot off of this. That's the reason why you have that pull out there because you're wanting to pull everybody left and then come back. But what we're trying to do is we're just trying to hold by the guard pull right here to hold these two guys so that we can go block force. He catch it outside on the rabbit and he's going to try to make a move off of this and play Oklahoma with this guy right here. So we'll see what happens here. But this, again, this is the same thing we've run to Anthony Evans. We've run it to Arian Smith. We've run it to Dominic Lovett. And here we are now running it to London Humphrey. So he gets the catch. Now, this is getting run over slowly. There's nothing wrong with this right here. It looks like we're getting a little bit of a jailbreak concept out of this as well. As I see people out here on it. But getting run over slowly allows London to try to get off of that. Now he's going to play Oklahoma right here and get about five yards. Again, I'll take that. First down and 10. Now we're playing in front of the chains at second and five. I'll take that all day long. Have no issues with it whatsoever. So, again, we get fast motion out, rabbit, pull to hold, get run over slowly by Lucky, make somebody miss, and get five yards. Just like in the Orange Bowl, we run this same very play. Um, we're going to bring Eurosec back down in motion, and what we're going to look like we're running is ghost power. So we're going to get this action from the inside, which is going to hold all these guys right here and should hold him enough as well to where you look like you're running fast rabbit over here to go block, and what we're going to do is just punch and catch. And this is just a concept of RPO, uh, and it's just showing this action. We're not going to hand off on the power. The action you see here is just to hold these guys so that we can get one-on-one -on -one out here with an athlete that's in space. And guys, we've been gashing them with this stuff right here. And this is the reason why Bobo goes to it. This was actually a sequence of plays that we had run to London Humphreys. And he was in a hot spot right now. 
And unfortunately, this is the exact same play where A.D. Mitchell catches it against Michigan in the Orange Bowl, and it converts for about a five, six-yard gain. I think he ends up almost getting a first down. And you can see here we only need five yards for the first down, and if he just watches the ball in, we've got a first down again. It's the same exact play.